good morning and assalamu alaikum grade 7 how are you today okay today we will do fertilization in question number 5 and 6 okay fertilization occurs after pollination see when the pollen grain lands on the stigma a tube rises from it it grows down the style and enters the ovary when it reaches the ovule, it bursts out and the nucleus in it combines with the ovule. This is called fertilization. So the last line of page number 45 is the definition that is to be learned or highlighted. The nuclei of the pollen grain and ovules have joined together. The ovules are called fertilized. The fertilized ovule then divides into both cells and is called a miniature plant or embryo. This embryo is sur surrounded by endosperm that is a tissue that provides food to the embryo plant when it grows. Stages in the development of a tomato fruit are shown here. Now we will revise the process again. First step is the pollination. After pollination, each pollen grain that has landed onto the stigma will develop into a tiny tube called a pollen tube. The pollen tube will grow downwards through the style of flower and into the ovary. The reproductive cells from the pollen grain will travel down the pollen tube and enter the ovule. In the ovule, it fuses with the egg. The union of egg and male reproductive cell is called fertilization. After fertilization, the ovule becomes seed, the ovary becomes fruit. Draw this diagram or this diagram, it's up to you. Pollen grain has landed on the stigma. Now it will grow. A tube will rise that is called pollen tube. It will pass through the style and will enter into the ovule. Okay? Here, from the tip, two nucleus will go. One will fuse or join with the female gamete and the other will combine with an endosperm. It will form a zygote. This fertilization will result in the formation of seed. What is fertilization? Union of male and female gamete. We have seen it. Now this will, uh, will develop into an embryo and the seed ovule will become seed and this ovary will become fruit. Let's open your journal and do question number 5 and 6. Question number 5 is, what is the difference between pollination and fertilization in plants? I know you all know that very well, so we have to write very neatly with a blue marker and blue pen. The answer is, pollination is the transfer of pollen from one flower to the stigma of another flower of the same species. Fertilization occurs after that. After pollination, a tiny tube grows from the pollen grain down towards the ovary. A male nucleus from the pollen grain moves down the pollen tube and joins with the nucleus of the female sex cell, the ovule. When the two nuclei fuse together, the ovule is called fertilized. Now, write down question number six. How does the nucleus in the pollen grain get from the stigma to the ovary of a flower? We have seen the video as well. How does it occur? And now we have to write. It can be a lengthy answer too, but I have written here a very short one. It's up to you which one you are going to write. You are always welcome to write your own answers. But I have written here this one. The nucleus in a pollen grain passes down the pollen tube inside the stigma of the flower to reach the ovary of the flower. Okay? Let's study basic facts. Uh, when pollinated plants usually have dull green flower, often without petals, they have no scent or nectaries. The stamens have long filaments, so a lot of uh, pollen is blown away while the stigmas are feathery to catch the pollen as it blows past. When a pollen grain lands on a stigma, a pollen tube grows down the style to the ovary. A nucleus from the male sex cell then moves down 
to join with the female sex cell and a fuel in the ovary. Fertilization is when two nuclei join the, for the fertilized ovule forms a seed and the ovary forms a fruit. Plants use animals, the wind, water and explosive methods to disperse or scatter their seeds. Each seed contains a dormant or resting embryo plant. All these basic facts are to be learned because they will improve your understanding and your learning outcomes. Okay, I trust you that you are learning them very well. Now see this video. Such a lovely video I have added in this uh, in this video so that you can understand how the plants grow, how they bloom, how their sepals open and then petals come out showing the stigma style ovary and anthers and how beautiful they look they are not only um, inviting the insects birds and other pollinators they are also telling that we are here for the plant production then comes the embryo after fertilization and that embryo is sacked in a seed. Those seeds, when they grow, they form another plant, a baby plant that will now grow more, will become tree, will bloom and these flowers will again do the same process. This continuity of life is beautiful. This is the blessing of Allah that we have been blessed by such wonderful and beautiful flowers around us. So always telling you that take care of the plants and pollinators around you and your elders and family members as well okay enjoy this video and enjoy your studies as well and always um, practice a lot so that your learning outcomes are at a level that you can impress everyone and you can tell that you have been a good student okay in these blooming flowers, you can see the parts of the flower as well. See the calyx is green, white are the petals, then anthers and this, this is lotus plant, this is tube rose, tube rose is opening, you can see now anthers, see this is um, narcissus, I think, no, no, it's, I don't know, okay. Thanks for watching this video. Take care, stay blessed, stay home, stay safe. Until my next video, Allah Hafiz.